osteoporosis patients um, who are receiving hormone replacements and what's the effect of that on the TSH. So in osteoporosis patients, so those patients who have like uh, fragility of vertebral fracture uh, that, are, that has been treated with hormone replacements therapy containing estrogens and progesterones. So this is very similar to patients uh, uh, who are hyperestrogenic, who are in a hyperestrogenic state, similar to uh, pregnant women. Um, estrogens, the estrogens in the hormone replacements therapy would increase in T4 and would also decrease in the breakdown of the TBG, which is thyroid binding globulins. So the increase in the thyroid, uh, uh, the increase in the thyroid binding globulins would increase in the total of T4 and T3. However, the free thyroid hormones are n normal. They're not, they're not going to change. Only the binding of, uh, the, of T4 and T3 change. So those, uh, those T4 uh, and T3 which is, these are bound to TBG. The bound thyroid hormones does not exert any physiolo physiologi physiological effect on the body, and it does not affect the TSH level. Only the free thyroid hormones have physiological effect on the body and hence because it's normal the patients who receive uh, hormone replacements estrogen and progesterone are euthyroid having normal TSH so basically osteoporosis patients receiving hormone replacements have increased in the total T4 T3 but uh, they're free thyroid hormones are normal so therefore they have a normal TSH and they are euthyroid similar to uh, uh, pregnant women who are hypo, uh, hyper estrogenic